main part of town. My hospital is right to the left uh, of that blue building on the side street. Beautiful little park. Some very, very pretty trees in it that we'll see in just a moment. They're absolutely fascinating. You can sit underneath them in a rainstorm and be almost completely sheltered. There's so much mass up there and thickness. And who was very important to this community, apparently? Padre Nello Scaroni. And the cathedral or church. Pretty little square surrounded by shops. Nicely done. It's a good focal point for the work they're doing in this town. Tremendous amount of construction work on roads and infrastructure. The street I'm wandering down just for the fun of it before I go back to my hostel and then get something to eat. What this intersection was like in the past. I think this building that's brick is the Mercado Central, where the raw fruits and meats are your other vendors. Anything and everything you need for the farm and the home. This is where everybody can bring their produce from out in these rich fields that we've seen. Kinds of potatoes and more booths. These people have priority, probably. <laughs> Reason for people not to eat well here, and they know how to make really good food. This is the dormitory in this hostel, Mia Casa Hostel in Cuenca. It used to be a home. You can tell that was probably a library and an office in there. And it's nice that they have these little drapes to get some privacy. This is my view into the inside of what was a home. Gives you an idea of how these homes were designed. This morning I'm doing my first walkabout in Cuenca. That kind of dotted circle right there is where my hostel is. And I think we're right here at 19 on Torres Avenue and Munoz, one of the main drags coming from the bus station actually. So we're going to be walking down generally this way and along the river and then back up this way and then back to the hostel. Hopefully I can get lunch sometime in there. I'm at the corner of that uh, little park that I was in route to. My hostel is back about four blocks, almost on a direct diagonal. I wanted to pick up this very pretty old building, this park, so you get a sense of it. It's pretty utilitarian, but it's a nice park where people live about here. Kind of a modern church cement, of course. It has water feature that's still got water going in it, which is nice. I've done before. I'll go on the internet and see if I can find out who this fellow was. Carlos Cucci, pastor, 1982. for that church there. We continue down Taurus, we're up in here somewhere, down to about here to see if I can pick up Santo Domingo Church. And then we'll wander down this way, pick up these churches, and end up at this park here, is our first goal. Anything terribly interesting in architecture, that's about it here. What the other buildings looked like that were here when that building was first built, or shortly afterward. Calle Mariscal Lamar, and what's fascinating about it is it once held the uh, trolley lines, and that would have been a real lovely addition to this town, but they're gone now, as you can see. The doors are pretty, but still exist in that context in most third world countries that have a large amount of wood. 
as one might imagine, that would be a continuing skill. A street that housed a trolley system once upon a time. The old church will go there in a moment. But first I want to pick up this cement building that harkens back to the early 19th century, I would guess. Just a, a hint of classic elegance. There are these large holes underneath that are filled up with wood right now. And this was true on the other street yesterday when I went up to the market. I don't know what these holes contained or do. This would have been a, perhaps an elegant street and a plaza, if you will, or square outside of this church, which is certainly large but bland looking. I wonder if it was always just left as white. I think there's a difference between these two towers. We'll go up and take a look. The base seems to be the same. I guess they are identical. I'm looking down towards the center of town. I think that may be Iglesia del Carmen de la Asuncion. And then from there we turn to our left and go over to Park Calderon. There are a few buildings that look a little bit interesting. This probably is a pretty good reflection of what this neighborhood looked like in its day. inside this building just so we can see what older buildings look like. This one now used for a number of little businesses. Buenos dias. Bien, bien, gracias. I to figure it out. This is a movie placard for the Hunger Games. We go into a still a second inner courtyard. Could large homes have been similarly designed? I would expect so. The inner courtyard just provides peace and tranquility in the midst of the cacophonous large streets surrounding these blocks, true in Asia also. Hey, they didn't have these covered glass roofs. Approaching this church, some beautiful domes, obviously some very elegant and beautiful architecture. Hopefully we'll get a better shot. Hadn't yet been forced to sell off its assets to stay alive. It's a beautiful mix of classic architectural style. Me not knowing that much about it, but over at the left that almost uh, British or English square turret or tower. That 
large round tower-like structure is going to look like from the inside. And to look at this building nearby and see how these long slabs of marble have been cracked by something almost the same dimension of crack. It almost looks like it was designed that way, but I doubt it. Earthquake? Subsistence? Subsidence, excuse me. And down these whole street, a photo down the street so you can get a sense of how things might have looked if you were walking it in the 1800s. The 19, early 19th, right in the heart of the old town now. And you can see some real intentional and preserved elegance in design. I'll pan around this little square because across from this magnificent church is another church not as magnificent in the classic cemento style. Of course, capped off by that apartment building there. A place to come and have lunch, perhaps, unless they just brought their own. This looks like the flower market. The water feature. <laughs> 